Hi, this is Jason here at RoofSnap. And Katrina. And we have another frequently asked question for you. Katrina, what's up next? So uh, this question is with regard to SketchOS, so our sketch ordering service. A lot of customers have asked recently, how do I request a sketch order? And then uh, how do I receive that? Sure, and I'll just say briefly, this is the busiest time of the year. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our trial subscribers and customers are you know, working 16-hour days, and they're going from lead to lead, and it's very difficult to keep up with all of the roof measurements. Mm -hmm. And so they're ordering, ordering, ordering uh, you know, measurement reports from... Uh, well, from us, yeah, through yeah. our SketchOS service. And if that's something that you would like to do, if this is too busy a time of year to learn, to draw out roofs in a new software, mm -hmm. then just order from us. And when it slows down, move on into some of the training that will actually teach you how to draw your own roofs. When you're logged in to RoofSnap, you'll see the Order SketchOS tile right on the main screen. And you're going to want to tap on this. Now, I'm not going to tap on it because I want to log in uh, with your password, Katrina. Mm, okay. But when you tap on this, it's going to take you straight to Safari, <clears throat> and you're going to put in your password and your email address for your account. Okay. And as soon as you log in, which we're not going to remember that, You'll see you're on the main RoofSnap account page. Lots of things you can do here, other videos to check out for that. But there is a SketchOS button across the top menu bar. Let's see if I can get it to highlight. There it is. That button right there, you're going to want to tap on that. And it's going to take you to our SketchOS ordering page. And you'll see that this account has not requested any orders yet. So there is nothing here, but we are going to tap on this request new order button in the upper right hand corner area. Perfect. And here it's going to remind us of the pricing. So there is per address or per project pricing here for SketchOS uh, breakdown between nine and $35 uh, at different square sizes. And if it's commercial or over 80 square, please give us a call. We will uh, give you a quick price over the phone. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give the project a name. This could be the homeowner's last name. This could be your opportunity number. This could be uh, whatever you want it to be. And then go ahead and enter in a location. So we are going to put in just some random numbers here and you'll see that uh, it begins to suggest different addresses based on what we're typing. We do have to tap on a, on a suggested address. That is Google's way of verifying that it is a real address. And then you can, plus, you can press on or tap on or click on the plus button here. So the address that we have got has put us uh, you know, alongside a large commercial building, which should be fine. But what I want to show you is I can actually grab that pin and move that pin and place it on the structure. We recommend that you move the pin and place the pin on the structure that you would like to have us draw. Then scroll down and verify the address. Make sure that the address is correct. These fields cannot be changed. If you need to change the address itself, you're going to come back up to the map, put your uh, cursor there in the enter location, and type in a different location. Gotcha. Then you're going to select which user within your organization should receive the project. So you'll have a drop down. There are two users in this organization. So we'll select smarten at gmail.com <laughs> and the snap type. Of course, the half snap <laughs> is just for squares and the full snap are all the lines and all the pitch values and all the labels. And the pricing can be referenced again at the top. Half snaps are nine bucks any size. Mm -hmm. Full snaps for all the lines and all the labels again per square pricing. Please then go ahead and add some notes. Detached garage, please you know, draw any other information about the house that may be relevant that you know ahead of time. Feel free to include it there to aid our sketch techs in drawing a more accurate project. Perfect. Then tap on the order button. Then you'll see it show up here in your dashboard of orders. And the status currently pending will change as that order is processed, excuse me, and, uh, and completed. So what I'm going to do now is jump back into the app because you will ultimately get an email notifying you when the project is complete. Mm -hmm. That email will have some instructions. It will also have some notes. 
and it's going to instruct you to go and click on this little sync button here or pull down on this screen. So I'll go ahead and instead of tapping on the circular arrow, I'm just going to pull down on this entire screen here. And that is called a quick sync. And this is going to pull in the new project. So notice my new leads are at 421. And as soon as this new project is finished uploading, it's going to increase to 422. Perfect. There it goes. <laughs> Great timing. Now, of course, the project that we had pre prepared uh, for upload here is not the same address as what we just ordered. Mm -hmm. um, but it does have in the, the notes and some of the different information that we're going to look at before we go in and analyze the roof itself. Perfect. So we can take a look at all of that. Yep. So make sure you go into New Lead. You're going to see we have the um, Sketchos sample order. This is the project that was just uploaded into the account. So we'll go ahead and open that. And then come down to the Notes field. Tap on the Notes field and please read these notes. They are frequently exactly the same. But when there is a tree that obscures some view, or if there is a bay window, or a funny wing or ear, if the sketch tech has any questions or any concerns about the drawing itself, they're going to leave a little extra information at the bottom paragraph, mm -hmm. letting you know what to be on the lookout. Because at this point, you're going to open up the roof snap, tap on roof snap. You start in pan and zoom, and you're going to be able to look at the drawing. <clears throat> Make sure that uh, it is consistent with what you see from your on-site inspection. Please tap on the facets button. This is going to show you all of the pitch values that have been labeled. And you may need to determine if, uh, while on site, any of these pitch values need to be adjusted. Mm -hmm. In doing so, you can tap on pitch, select a new pitch, and apply that new pitch to any area by tapping on the facet. Right. Most of the time, that's all you're going to need to do. Correct pitch, slight adjustments, you know, maybe we have it a 9, maybe it's actually an 8. You'll be able to fine-tune the drawing as needed. Uh, and, of course, give us a call if you have any questions about the drawing itself. We'd love to hear back from you. Absolutely. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, there are other um, videos on like creating the, the, the document, the sketch report document uh, as a PDF, so please check out some of those. Mm -hmm. But I think that's it. Perfect. Thank you, Jason. See you guys. Thanks, guys.